Over time, human history has witnessed the evolution of weapons to the extent that they have always become better, more efficient, and more deadly than their previous versions. Among the vehicles that have secured an important place in history are vehicles that carried weapons on the battlefields, and this is due to their impact on the way wars are conducted. However, combat vehicles played a more important role in the outcome of battles than weapons. So, we've done some research for you, and these are some of the deadliest combat vehicles of all time. 10. USS Monitor USS Monitor was an ironclad warship built for the Union Navy during the American Civil War and completed in early 1862, the first such ship commissioned by the Navy. Designed by Swedish engineer and inventor John Erickson, USS Monitor was commissioned in New York City, New York. An innovative warship, she had a thick armored round turret that was 20 feet in diameter. Rotated by steam power, the turret could fire nearly 360 degrees from a pair of 11-inch Dahlgren smoothbore shell guns. The USS Monitor presented a new concept in ship design and employed a variety of new inventions and innovations in shipbuilding that caught the attention of the world. The USS Monitor took part in the first battle between armored warships on March 9th at Hampton Roads, Virginia. Once she arrived, she engaged in a fight with the weapons of the CSS Virginia Confederates. The day before, Virginia sank both the USS Congress and the USS Cumberland. Although the battle with Confederate weapons was a draw, the commitment prevented the Confederates from gaining control of Hampton Roads, which would have disrupted the Federal blockade. In December of 1862, the Monitor was ordered to the south, where it encountered a storm. She fell during that storm and was lost along with 16 sailors of her 62 men. 9. Blériot 11 Blériot 11 is a French aircraft from the pioneering era of aviation. On July 25, 1909, the first specimen was used by Louis Blériot to make the first flight over the English Channel in a heavier-than-air aircraft. It was produced in two variants, with one seat and with two seats, powered by several different engines, and was widely used for competition and training purposes. Military versions were purchased by many countries and continued to operate until after the outbreak of World War I in 1914. Two restored examples, one in the United Kingdom and one in the United States, of original Blériot 11 aircraft are considered to be the two oldest aircraft pilotable in the world. Blériot 11 gained fame on July 25, 1909, when Blériot crossed the English Channel from Calais to Dover, winning a prize of £1,000 awarded by the Daily Mail. The first Blériot 11 entered military service in Italy and France in 1910 and a year later some were used by Italy in North Africa and Mexico. The British Flying Royal Corps received the first Blériots in 1912. In the early stages of World War I, eight French, six British, and Italian squadrons operated different military versions of the aircraft, mainly for observation tasks, but also as instructors and, in the case of single presses, as light bombers, with a bomb payload of up to 25 kilograms. 8. V-2 Rocket V-2 Rocket, also called V-2 Missile or A-4, German ballistic missile of World War II, was the forerunner of modern space rockets and long-range missiles. It was the world's first operational liquid fuel rocket, and it represented an enormous quantum leap in technology, financed by Nazi Germany in a huge development program that cost at least $2 billion in 1944. It was developed in Germany in 1936 through the efforts of scientists led by Werner von Braun and was first successfully launched on October 3, 1942. About 5,000 people died in the V-2 attacks, and it's estimated that at least 10,000 prisoners in the Middle Baudora concentration camp died when they were used as forced labor in the construction of the V-2 at the Middlework Underground Factory. After the war, both the United States and the Soviet Union captured a large number of V-2s and used them in research that led to the development of their missile and space exploration programs. 7. Messerschmitt Me-262 Messerschmitt Me-262 Schwalbe was the first operational jet aircraft in the world, introduced by the Luftwaffe. 
Messerschmitt Me 262 is the first operational jet aircraft to enter series production in June 1944. Powered by two Junkers Jumo 004B Orkin turbojets, the aircraft had a wingspan of 12.51 meters, a length of 10.6 meters, and a maximum starting weight of 7,130 kilograms. The maximum speed was 870 kilometers per hour, with a range of 1,050 kilometers. It was equipped with four 30mm automatic cannons and could carry bombs weighing 1,000 kilograms. Entering the battle late, Messerschmitt Me 262 could no longer influence the fate of the war. It was produced in 1,430 pieces by Messerschmitt AG, being a fighter jet, but which could also perform bombing missions. Me 262 had two operators, the Luftwaffe and the Czechoslovak Air Force, but was decommissioned in 1945 by the Germans and in 1957 by the Czechoslovaks. 6. HMS Dreadnought HMS Dreadnought was a Royal Navy battleship whose design revolutionized naval power. When it was ordered in 1906, the HMS Dreadnought was the dominant battleship class of its era. Dreadnought was established as the revolutionary ship of the era, even when, in World War I, it did not sink another ship in battle and did not even take part in the famous Battle of Jutland. The Dreadnought displaced 18,000 tons, was 526 feet long, and carried a crew of about 800. Its four propeller shafts, powered by steam turbines, instead of the traditional steam pistons, gave it an unprecedented top speed of 21 knots. Because recent improvements in naval gunnery had made it unnecessary to prepare for short-range battle, Dreadnought carried no guns of secondary caliber. The ship was reduced to reserve in 1919 and sold for scrap two years later. 5. Enola Gay Enola Gay is the name of a B-29 Super Fortress bomber belonging to the United States Air Force. Enola Gay dropped the first atomic bomb used in a military conflict on August 6, 1945, on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. It was also nicknamed Little Boy. The aircraft was named after the mother of pilot Paul Warfield Tibbets. Due to its role in the first atomic bombings, the name Enola Gay became almost synonymous with the bombings themselves. As a result of these two atomic bombings, Japan capitulated a few days later on August 15, 1945, thus ending World War II. The Enola Gay remained in service for several years before being given to the Smithsonian Institution on July 3, 1949. It was later disassembled and stored in Maryland. In 1984, work began on restoring the aircraft. Exposure to the elements damaged the plane and was vandalized. Finally, the project lasted about 20 years. In 2003, the fully restored Enola Gay was exhibited at NASM's Stephen F. Udar Hazy Center in Chantilly, Virginia. 4. Turtle It was also called American Turtle, and it was the world's first submersible vessel with a documented record of use in combat. It was built and designed by the American inventor David Bushnell in 1775 for use against British warships. Named for its shape, Turtle resembled a large clam as much as a turtle. It was about 10 feet long, 6 feet tall, and about 3 feet wide. Despite failing in its mission, the Turtle was a successful proof of concept. Continued advancements in submarine development remained a top priority for navies across the globe. The submarine's ultimate fate is not known, although it's believed that after the British took New York, the turtle was destroyed to prevent her from falling into enemy hands. 3. Little Willy It was a prototype in the development of the British tank Mark I. It was built in the fall of 1915 at the request of the Territorial Committee and was the first completed tank prototype in history. Little Willy is the oldest surviving individual tank and is preserved as one of the most famous pieces in the collection of the Tank Museum, Bovington, England. Although Little Willie never saw combat and was redundant almost as soon as it was made, it represented a major step forward in military technology. Without the lessons learned from its construction and trials, it would have been impossible to build the vehicles that would supersede it. 2. Hosho 
Hosho was the world's first commissioned ship that was built as an aircraft carrier, and the first aircraft carrier of the Imperial Japanese Navy. In 1922, the ship was used for testing carrier aircraft operations equipment, techniques, and tactics. Despite seeing action in China and serving as part of Yamamoto's main body during the Battle of Midway, Hosho's obsolescence kept her out of the majority of the Pacific War. Instead, she served as a training carrier. After the war, she served as a repatriation vessel before being scrapped. 1. MQ-1 Predator The MQ-1 Predator is an American remotely piloted aircraft built by General Atomics that was used primarily by the United States Air Force. It first flew in 1944 and entered service the following year. The aircraft saw combat in the war in Afghanistan, Pakistan, the NATO intervention in Bosnia, the 1999 NATO bombing of Yugoslavia, the Iraq War, Yemen, the 2011 Libyan Civil War, the 2014 intervention in Syria, and Somalia. The Predator had a length of 26 feet 8 inches and a wingspan of 41 feet 8 inches and was powered by a piston engine driving a pusher propeller. It flew 80 miles an hour and had an endurance of 24 hours. The United States Air Force retired the Predator in 2018, replacing it with the Reaper. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.